Seven Wonders Architects. We're going to give our thoughts, our review, if you will, of the two-player version of this game, which we've now played several games of, four of them to be exact, and you have beaten me every single time. Um, I've played all the different iterations of Seven Wonders, the original Seven Wonders Duel, and now this one. And I got to say, I think I like this one the best, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that everything is pre- um, set up in these little boxes, uh, it can't be any more streamlined and efficient of a game. We we played, what, 15-minute games? Oh, yeah. And it feels like about 30 minutes worth of actual thinking and, and gameplay. Very, very solid game. What are your thoughts? So we've only played the two-player game, and so what I'll say is uh, I have abandoned war and not cared about it every time. That seems to have helped me out. Uh, because there are other points to be had. And in the two-player game, getting those other points seems to be more efficient than, than the war approach. Uh, with multiple players, um, the war may become more important because there's, there's no other options for someone. Uh, but we, we also play very quickly in terms of, as soon as I'm done going, you go very rapid, it comes back to me. So it's it's very active. You don't have to sit and think a lot. That's... Zero downtime. I mean, it's almost not enough downtime, but you only have three decisions basically to make. I, I like that there's, I mean, there's definitely luck involved. I mean, you were drawing blue cards quite a bit, and I don't mind that because, again, in a 15-minute game, I still feel like I got my chances to win, but I just... You know, I couldn't do it, but it doesn't feel like luck is bad. It actually makes the game fun, more fun, I think. So one of the things we have is every choice I make directly affects you. Right. I, I'm, if I want to choose this one, I've got to be careful because I'm scared that this one, the next one will be good. And, and when you add other players, I'm choosing the cards on my left and my right, and some other players may have some. So I have to be careful about... I'm not so concerned about the other people because I can't control right. anything. By the time it, if you're playing a seven player game and by the time it comes back around to you, nothing is going to be the same as it was when your turn ended. Really. What, one of the things about these, I'll, I'll mention about these, these towers, it seems like some of these are better suited for a two player game and some of these are amazing in a multiplayer game. Like choose a card from anywhere on the table. If we have seven players, now all of a sudden I can you have, have seven options. choices. Right, you're basically going to get whatever yeah. card you want. But the trade-off on these towers is some allow you to, you want to focus on building, some you want to focus on more, some you want to focus on other things. So I, I believe the, the designers, the intent is to spread that and balance it. Um, I think, unfortunately, the, the one downside I would say is that balance only comes in when you have more than two players. And when it's just two players, it skews much further one way or the other. Yeah, I mean, but for a 15 minute game, beer and pretzels where you're actually like building wonders. I mean, the, the components couldn't be any better. I've never seen a, like a setup tray. I mean, this is like the short game equivalent of the game Eclipse, the, the new edition, which has, you know, it that that's an epic game. And it's got these trays that have all your components in them. And you basically just hand someone a tray and they're ready to play. Uh, that's what this game is with seven players. You just hand them this little tiny tray and Game on. Now, this is also one of those with, with two people. Hey, we don't have a lot of time. We've got about 30 minutes while the kids are getting dressed or something like that. You can pull this game out, play it real quick, and it yeah. goes right back. And I feel like after we played, it could go either way. Like, hey, this one was a, the last one we played was, was domination on my part because I'm amazing. But right. the next game, you could get things and you, it could swing right back in your direction. That's, yeah. That's the... the that's the luck side of it. Now, I think it's a great game. I'm, I'm, I couldn't recommend it anymore. I, I really do want to play this with a lot more players. But as a two-player game, I think it's just fine. For, for what I got out of it, um, we played four games in an hour. Uh, that's, that's pretty awesome. The two-player strategy, what I will say, I think a multiplayer strategy more than two players, once you get to around four or five, the strategy changes drastically. I think that's probably Two true. players, you can get a one or two strategies and just stick with them the whole time. Yeah. Well, I think on a scale of one to great, I think this game is probably going to be close to great when I get to play it with more people. But as a two-player game, I'd say it's pretty solid. Right. I think it's solid. I'd play it again. After four victories, I feel like a fifth wouldn't hurt my feelings at all. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. Well... That's our uh, review of Seven Wonders Architects two-player version.
Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.